Hello, Eddie. Welcome back to Art Therapy with Jen. Today I'm going to be working in my witchy journal and I'm excited to announce to y'all that I'll actually be working in the witchy journal for the whole month of October and starting with this video there will be a new video uploaded every Saturday um, until we get to Halloween which will be the actual completed flip through of this journal. So I'm super excited. It's been um, a long journey with this journal and it's been a little bit since I've worked in it. And I think one reason was that I was so close to finishing it up that <laughs> I kind of didn't want to finish it. You know, I really love this journal. It's near and dear to my heart. And um, it, it's just been so fun to put together from start to finish. Now for this video, um, I'm going to be working on finishing up the different um, focal images, um, little embellishments using magazine, and just going through and seeing if I need to add any more. So the first image I added up there, um, you see that little cat with just that wonderful um, like flower crown on its head. Um, I just love it. You know, that's our little familiar there. <laughs> and I'm just going through the stash that I saved and just seeing if, um, you know, we need to add a little bit more to the story on the pages as far as pictures go. Now, if this is your first time tuning in um, to my witchy journal um, or when I do journals of this type, um, I do do it um, different than how I do like my one magazine pages or my um, pages I do like in my ideas art journal or just um, my art journal spreads. So for this one, um, I actually go through and I kind of treat the whole book the book as a whole. So I flip through different pages and I add like here I added the cat and the building and then I added that pop of color for that rip piece on the border there. And I just keep flipping through and adding um, layer by layer rather than finishing up this whole page and then moving on to a next page because to me the story is actually the whole the book as a whole if that makes sense um, if this is your first time tuning in just a little bit of background on this journal um, I started this journal gosh I actually started creating on it I want to say a little over two years ago uh, but I actually started saving images for it um, a year or two before that just anything that I came across that I felt like went with the vibe for my witchy journal or anything like that I started saving and um, I made this one um, uh, the pages are made out of a mixture of mixed media paper and manila folders that I cut down and I also made the cover and bound it myself and just start to finish and I, I just love this little journal so I'm so excited to share with y'all this final leg of the journey and um, I wanted to give some more uploads in October kind of as a special event as we went to the road to the end of this um, journal journey here. And as you see there, I'm just adding little things on the side. <laughs> Y'all know I love just the little rip bits of paper with the jagged edges just to add a pop of color on there. And these images have come from all over the place like I said I was saving images for a year or two and even beyond that because one reason this journal has taken me so long is that I ran out of images quite a few times <laughs> so I had to wait and um, really 
keep saving them. And I learned a lot along the way as well. Um, some of these pages too, you'll see they're a little bit crinkled and what have you. And um, I, <laughs> when I first started this journal, I was learning about, um, you know, different types of um, glue sticks. Glue sticks is my preferred. And I did use some that uh, did not <laughs> work as well as others that I found. But I just went with it, y'all. And um, the combination, um, <laughs> I think I trailed off there, but um, the images and backgrounds and everything that you see here, so there's a combination, um, like the one you see on the right there, that background I actually made using um, different inks and paints um, and sprays, and I overlaid it with magazine. Um, you'll see a lot of magazine images in the background that I've torn up. Um, I used bits of calendar um, images like from old yearly wall calendars um, scrapbook paper um, just a little bit of everything y'all I just I had fun with it um, and I love so much that a lot of you have really embraced that kind of witchy vibe that I was going for and it, it was just perfect when I saw like I upload on Saturdays now and I saw that October ended on Halloween on a Saturday I'm like okay this is it. This is the day we've been waiting for, for this journal. So, <laughs> and you'll also see too, um, like on the left there, that little pink line, that is also acrylic paint. So, um, I'll link my witchy playlist down below and in an I card, if you'd like to see kind of the whole journey of this journal, I did film quite a lot of it. This, um, is a journal I started actually very early on, um, in the days of this channel and I really appreciate all the um, support I've been getting for it it's it's wonderful because this journal is like it's like my, my, my little journal baby so <laughs> I enjoy it I've had um, a lot of transitions with this journal and um, just a, a whole lot of fun with it I just I love the vibe for it and um, I really enjoyed adding these final images so let's talk about the pages a little bit now that I've rambled on some, right? Um, this page toward the left here, so that is um, cardstock, like I call it scrapbooking paper, but um, you know, kind of like craft paper that you'd use for a scrapbook or a planner. And that's what I use for the whole background. And I already had the lady on the right glued down who's kind of in a period type of dress. And then I found the girl on the left that I'm about to add. And I thought they had similar features. And I thought, how cool would it be? In my mind, this is the same girl. So one's modern and one's from way back. So, hmm. <laughs> and um, I just had a lot of fun with it. So I went through my stash and I was just looking at images. I thought, I really like the vibes of these. And I, I want them to be in the journal. I just wasn't sure where. So that's why you'll see me. I'm just kind of flipping through reacquainting myself with the journal with the vibe of it um i do that with my um collage pages where i do the start to finish pages as well um i i'll flip through my images and i kind of just i don't know i don't know how to explain it if any y'all do that with journaling um let me know <laughs> but i i'm i'm very like hands-on and i really need to flip through them and see kind of okay this goes with the vibe of it this doesn't this seems like it should fit this doesn't and um yeah i just have fun with it <laughs> and that background there on the left that was actually waste paper <laughs> from um um paint that had run off so um, and I just, I tried different things, like um, lots of strips of paper in here. Um, the background on the left is actually soft pastels. <laughs> I, I tried some of those <laughs> uh, just to see what it would do. Um, when I started this journey, or this journal, it was also kind of a discovery of using different materials and things. So, I just have fun with it, and I, I love the vibe that it takes on, um, and just all the different... Um, images and how they come together I still remember how happy I was like uh, those of y'all that uh, remember when I started this journal so I actually did all the backgrounds first and I did them before I ever um, put made signatures and actually bound it to the journal so for like the first year I believe I was just making loose pages so um, 
when I actually bound the journal, it was kind of fun to see what backgrounds and images ended up next to each other because that was a big surprise to me too. I mean, it's almost like magic, right? <laughs> we we're putting the right ingredients together and what came out was uh, something I really enjoyed. So, <laughs> And I kind of got to thinking about too. So when we talk about like um, you know, this witchy vibe and this magical vibe and everything, which I'm very much, um, the witchy vibe, you know, um, I, I was a teenager in the, um, you know, nineties, uh, going into, uh, the very, very early two thousands. So it, it's this kind of vibe that I had, you know, we had, um, charmed. And I also grew up with a lot of fantasy shows like, um, now, of course, my mind is drawing blank, but just kind of that era, we had like, you know, X-Files, Twin Peaks, <laughs> you know, Buffy, Charmed, um, and just this whole kind of, also this old world vibe, you know, that was going on at that time. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it because it was just such a, like, prevalent part of me growing up, especially <laughs> the nerd that I am, right? And I just, I just wanted to bring it across that vibe. And I just, I love that a lot of y'all are kind of, kind of coming on that journey with me and seeing, seeing it come together there. And I just was so happy with um, how many different images that I was able to find. Like I said, I pulled things from anything from free advertisements and clothing catalogs to like fashion magazines, a lot of interior design magazines. And, um, I just, I love the, the mix that it brought me there. One thing I like to do in this witchy series as well is, um, kind of pause the talking for a little bit and just put on some music so y'all can kind of watch it, um, come together with me. Cause usually I do have music blasting or a show on, um, this is kind of my, my little happy moment where I can kind of sit, relax, watch some things, listen to some things and, uh, so we're going to do that, and I'll be back shortly, don't y'all worry, with some more rambles.
Alrighty, and we're back with some rambling. <laughs> Um, you may have noticed a little bit back, so I actually started, this is my second flip through of the journal that you're watching here. Um, one thing that I really like to do, and again, I've talked about how I'm very hands-on. I have to like get my hands on the images and, um, you know, just, just do it that way. Just dig through there and see. And I'm also like that, um, with this style of journal. So I have to flip through. Um, in my journal sessions with this sometimes several times and it's it's crazy what you see when you flip back through again uh, what you missed the first time and especially when I've um, committed to being on the journey to finishing up this journal finally um, I really wanted to flip th back through and look at each page and see if it's still missing part of that visual story um, and just really make sure that I felt good about finally, you know, incorporating these images that I saved for the witchy journal that are left over into my normal stash again. And that they still don't need to be in the journal, if that makes sense. <laughs> Y'all know I've talked about I'm very um, hands-on when it comes to, you know, journaling or glue booking or whatever you want to call it. Like, I have to really dig in with the images and kind of fill it as I go and I just knew I had some more that need to go in there and honestly y'all if it if it was like you know in, in a perfect world with where time is no constraint and etc and so forth I could honestly fool around in this journal for another two years um I'm very like I am not a speed journaler and I could just add things and add things and add things and add things and just never finish one. And um, one thing I'm trying to commit to is really making myself um, finish things. It's like when I used to save, um, you know, images and art supplies because in my brain they were just too precious to use. And, it, you know, it's the same with the journal. I'm like, I, I don't want to finish it because if I finish it, then, I you know, I can't work in it. And... <laughs> It's a very weird thing in my mind. So, um, like I said, with this step, I'm going through and I'm adding um, the last, you know, magazine bits and, um, you know, scrapbook bits and what have you before we really start adding um, embellishments and then the words to the story. So the voice to the story, you know, to add on the visual. And um, this page you're seeing here, this is one of the things I really like to do. Um, when I'm stressed or I just, um, I just really enjoy it. So I've talked about, you know, mindless painting projects. I love to just paint things. <laughs> like when uh, I'm in the middle of redoing my house for the last um, two or three years, uh, we're on a budget. So it's taken us a little while, but just painting the walls and things, I find it very therapeutic because you really don't have to think about it. It's just like mindless painting. Um, I love doodling like y'all have seen on my other pages and I also love what you're seeing here and just ripping up bits of magazine and kind of layering them and weaving them in and out from each other and ripping them and um you know merging together those raw edges where you've ripped it up and <laughs> it, it's something I've done in my journals for years and I, I just love doing it and if you're short on materials and everything, you can do so much with those little odds and ends, whether you're, you know, cutting them off and you have those little strips left over or you're ripping them like I do. There's so many fun things you can do with those. <laughs> if you see my other videos, I actually have a jar where I save them in and um, this is getting creepy. <laughs> I actually... I have a jar that I save them in and um, when I finish up journals like um, my composition book journals and probably like my um, ideas journal where I'm doing my one magazine challenges in and what have you um, I, the last page I like to take all the ripped up bits and ends and just make a final page for it and I don't know these are my little ripped up bits that I've saved uh, from the witchy journal and there's just a lot of good good stuff on there I really enjoy it 
and I like um, how this page finally came together because this um, spread here I was kind of at a loss for a little while I kept adding elements and I knew they needed to be there but it never quite felt finished so once I added all these I really felt good about it and this uh, became one of my favorite little spreads in this journal and y'all will see I can sit here and fool with these little ripped up magazine images I could sit like if time was not a factor I could sit there and fool with that for the rest of the day <laughs> it's just fun do y'all have anything like that that you just really enjoy doing I know I've heard some people really enjoy like just sorting their images just going through them some people really enjoy um I saw uh, one person talk about they just like going through and like gessoing all the pages in their mixed media notebook and um you know some people they like cutting everything in the same shape like squares and then just gluing them in uh this is this is my little quirk i really enjoy it <laughs> and y'all i will sit there and rip those until the shape just feels right i don't know it's a thing <laughs> i enjoy it i embrace it just embrace it <laughs> um while i'm finishing this spread up here i also wanted to say too so i talked about um earlier in the video you know, kind of how entertainment and media also played a, or played an influence in kind of the vibe I was going for, you know, the media and things that I grew up with. Um, you know, we had a lot of that old world vibe in our shows and also that, um, you know, witchy, magical element, um, supernatural, what have you. But also, more so than just the media portrayal, because, you know, that adds the kind of glitz and the, you know, magic on top of it. Also, going with that witchy vibe, very much um, different elements. So, you know, the, the five elements that's around with that, you know, an example like earth and water. Um, I tried to use a lot of different um, you know, backgrounds with nature and everything, and also, um, a sense of heritage and kind of, um, you know, feminine confidence and just kind of portraying that there. And also, um, like on the right here, you know, you see all that jewelry and everything. And, um, that's one thing I've noticed, at least with the community here where I'm local, so many artisans, um, so many, um, you know, skilled artisans, very much into, um, you know, nature, attuning with nature, like I said, with the elements, and very much um, family and heritage and things that are passed on. So that was also a vibe I really wanted to incorporate in here. So, you know, that history, that confidence, those elements coming together but also take a lot of it, um, you know, in that modern view. So I tried to use pictures and it, it, like I said, I don't really <laughs> plan anything out, but looking back at it, I can tell, um, kind of that vibe I was going for. Um, and it's, I guess that's kind of like the, the supernatural or what would they call it? Oh my gosh. I, I used to read so much and I'm finally getting back into it, but where it's like, modern day with um you know contemporary people and storylines but then there's these elements woven in of things from times past if that makes sense <laughs> you know like you read these books and it's like you're in New York City but there's also like this you know other layer that you know is this underground like paranormal type <laughs> layer. I don't know how to describe it, y'all. Y'all know. I, I'm like a potato sometimes when I try to explain stuff. That's one reason I really like um, art journaling like this because I feel like I can express myself much better creatively and bring that across in a visual way. <laughs> So I hope y'all kind of see what I'm going for, but you know, each of these pages, I think this is a, a snapshot of one person's history and, you know, like here with this girl, you know, very, you know, normal looking modern girl, but in the background you see kind of that skeleton 
in the um, greenery there. So there's a, there's a layer there. There's a story. <laughs> and funny enough, that background actually came from a magazine from uh, my college alma mater. So <laughs> uh, I really enjoy You never know. You never know where you're going to get <laughs> images from. And uh, that was my alma mater. And they were trying to hit me up for donations. And I'm like, uh, do y'all know where I work? <laughs> I have no money. <laughs> Another thing I really like about um, journaling like this, um, it's very little to no cost. That's one reason I got into it. It's really, you can put as much or little money into it as you want. You know, you can get uh, free materials all day long. Um, and you can choose to just use free materials and glue. Or you can get a little fancy with it and buy paints and it really does well paints I mean 50 cents a pop at Walmart but <laughs> whole nother story whole nother day that's one reason I really did gravitate toward this a lot more you know mix up some creativity something that is really cheap to do and uh, that I get to get my hands in there and create things sign me up y'all sign me up that that is the perfect that is the elements for the perfect spell right there. The perfect. <laughs> now these images here, so um, they actually didn't go all the way to the end of the, uh, or to the edge of the paper that they're glued on. So I decided to go through again with my little ripped up paper bits. <laughs> <laughs> can't stop won't stop <laughs> and just add um, a fun border there now I am cutting the edges um, straight on these so that when um, I glue them down they line up with that edge of the paper and I like the little effect that this had so I had fun with it and I also like um, how some of these pages so these two pages are very simple so the background um, with the girls there they're just a single image and then I'm just adding this little border to it it doesn't have to be complicated you know to tell what story you want to tell or to get that vibe that you want you know just have just have fun with it you could put a hundred little bits on there or like here just a couple so had fun and um, these are in the middle of that particular signature and I, I actually um, bound this journal with jute because <laughs> I wanted something kind of natural and um, kind of earthy looking to go with those elements see we're tying it back around y'all <laughs> also tried to find a lot of cute um, animal pictures to put in here because you know we got to have our familiars <laughs> That reminds me of um, another show growing up that was really popular. Um, what was it? Sabrina the Teenage Witch, which I reckon they've revamped on Netflix. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't watched it yet, but I just remember Salem the Cat on there. <laughs> that was a fun character. And I did not discriminate when it came to familiars. We added some dogs in here as well. You know, uh, traditionally it's cats. And y'all know I am a cat lady level 5,000. So, um, <laughs> I, I am a, um, you know, I, I embrace it. I like it. <laughs> I rescue cats. I have cats you know, three cats at the moment, um, in my home that y'all see and embrace in my intros, but I understand there are dog people as well, and dogs are just as magical, you know, up until, um, a couple years ago, I had an amazing dog as well, you know, he's up there on the rainbow bridge, chilling, eating as many treats as he wants, rolling around in the snow, that was his favorite when we rarely get snow. But I'm just finishing up here, and I also like this kind of cozy vibe some of the pages have with the tea, because that's another big element, I think, um, in the witchiness or the, you know, the wickedness is um, the tea element. That's a huge thing with, like, herbal and teas, and um, I'm just going through on these last few pages and just seeing if I want to add anything and just making my peace with this step. And I, I, as soon as I turned that last page, I knew, okay, we're okay. We can move on to the next step. 
So in the next video, we're actually going to be adding um, some embellishments and then start adding words as well. And there is a lot of words to get through y'all. So thank y'all so much. Um, I hope y'all have a great day. I'm so excited to um, continue on this witchy journey with y'all for all of October. Look forward to that. The next video will be out next Saturday at um, 8.30 Eastern time. And again, thank y'all so much. Have a fabulous day and happy journaling. Bye guys.